And they're going to run Bracey now out of the Wildcat. Marvin Bracey, the speedster. And Bracey gets Dang it to the 25-yard line. He's going to pick up close to a first down. He may have gotten it. Marvin Bracey has been the focus of this Dr. Phillips uh, team this week. They actually had Reggie Glover, one of their players, try to do what he does in preparing for Bracey. Well, Phil Ziegler confided in me yesterday that they were working Bracey in the Wildcat. Uh, to get him more touches in a simple way. Just snap it to him and let him go to work with that 10-1-9 speed. Bracey 10.19 in the 100 meters. And he's going to run right up the middle, trying to find some running room. Uh, keep your poise. Stick with the game plan here. There is the kickoff. This time not into the end zone. So Bracey's going to be able to run it back. And he gets it out to the 20-yard line, and that is all as the Braves take over at their 20-yard line. Well, two dangerous men are back deep. Clinton Dix and D. Hart for the Josh Townsend punt. Fourth and eight, and it's a high kick. D. Hart fielding it at the 32-yard line and tripped up and tackled a great open field tackle by Marvin Bracey. Let's go down to the field now. Check in with a third member of our play-by-play -play crew tonight, Tiffany Green. Second quarter. First down for Boone after that penalty from their own 45-yard line. Play fake and Alton Meeks going deep to Bracey. He had him open over his head incomplete. Oh, it's a shame. You know, young quarterback, you got Bracey. You've got to put air on the ball. Put some air on it. He'll go get it, but you throw it firm and you can't adjust here. Meeks put a little more air on it. Let him go get it. It's amazing. Fast receivers as long as that ball. And this is Bracey in the shotgun, the Wildcat. And he gets across the 30, still on his feet. And it depends on where they spot the football. It looks like out at the 33-yard line. So he gets 13 yards on the carry for Marvin Bracey. Well, there's Bracey out of the Wildcat. Watch him accelerate here, and he gets a great block from his fullback right there. It goes to spring him, and watch him break tackles now. He's competing out there like his adversary, D. Hart. Bill Spoon Stadium, where Dr. Phillips has the lead, 17-0. There's a running play. Second down, and they pitch it on the option to Terman, A.J. Terman. Up to the 40-yard line. I like the change up here. Bracey running a little wildcat, keeping the ball, also running the zone read with Terman, and now running the option here. Nice little flip out to Terman. You're looking at a sophomore running back right there in Terman, the only freshman last year to ever start for Coach Ziegler. And it is Bracey turning at the corner. Wow. And he slips down, though, at the 35-yard line. Pick up a four on the play. Something he's not used to doing. Watch the acceleration right here. Dynamic. Dynamic receiver. But now you got your quarterback out here blocking something he's not used to doing either. Here in the second quarter. Bracey in the shotgun. Fakes the tournament. He's going to throw it up to Dawkins, and he can't come up with it. He has a little trouble with the snap because he's ready to throw that ball out of there. Not a bad pass. He gives the receiver a chance. Dawkins trying to make a play. Comes up short. First and ten. Meek is going to throw out to Terman. He picks up a good block from Bracey. And pulls over a defender getting into Dr. Phillips' territory. A.J. Terman running with authority. Yeah, and how about Bracey out there getting a the block for his buddy over there? Got to be careful on that swing pass. That was a lateral. That's a lateral right there. If you don't catch that ball, that's a fumble. But look at Bracey, a little getting away. Good block there. Dawkins working down the field. Good game. Second and nine for the Braves after they get their first turnover of the night. Bracey in motion and Bracey on the screen. Marvin Bracey down the field around the 38-yard line, a couple of yards shy of the first down. Well, that's what they're going to have to do. You know, they, they've got Terman with a lot of carries here. You've got to get number two as touches. Uh, good job here putting Bracey in motion. I like the concept, put him in motion, and then bubble him back out. 